In this video today, I will show you how to insert PDF letterhead in Word. So to do this, what you have to do, as you can see, here is the one which I'll be using, here is the letter which I'll be using, which is on PDF. So the next thing for you to do, just open your browser, then you visit the website, which is ilovepdf.com. So when done, the next thing for you to do, you just to scroll down to where we have PDF to JPEG, as you can see right here. So click on it to continue. So when done, you can then drag and drop the file, as you can see, this is the letter, I just drag and drop it right there. So when done, the next thing for you to do, you just click on convert to JPEG. PDF has been converted to JPEG image. You just have to leave it time for it to download automatically, as you can see right now, it's downloading itself. But if you did not download, you can just click on download image to download it. So when done, the next thing for you to just go to where you have the file. Let's just click right here, as you can see. Show in folder. So right now, as you can see right here, here is the file right here. So you can just click and drag it to your Microsoft Word. So you can delete, let me delete all this one. The next thing for you is just to click on it, then click on picture format, then click on wrap test. So you can then click on behind test. So when done with that, you can then drag this right here to the edge of the page. As you can see right here, I've just dragged it to fit the page. So, as you can see, that was all to do this. So, if you want to type on this page, what you have to do is just to click on insert, then click on text box, then click on draw text box. So, you can then draw your text box right there to fit those typing area. As you can see, let's move it to the center of the page. As you can see right here, then you can then start doing your typing right there. So when you are done with the typing, you can just remove the shape outline by clicking right here. Then after clicking on the test box, then you can just click on shape outline, then no outline. So as you can see, that's just it. So that's all to do this. Hope this video help. Please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.